Hi guys, we're in beautiful Antalya in Turkey. I can't recommend this place enough. If you're thinking about coming here, do it. It is super, the people are friendly, the weather is hot. It is an amazing, amazing place. Right, really quick video on troponins and what may cause a rise in troponin level apart from MI and acute coronary syndrome. That's always the first two things that we tend to think about with troponins. Troponin, remember, is a protein found in skeletal muscle and in heart muscle. There are three types, troponin T, troponin C, and troponin I for what can cause a rise if you get a question in a medical exam or a role play scenario, for example. So we'll stay with cardiovascular first. Yes, think MI, think ACS. But think about heart failure. Think about arrhythmias like AF, for example. Think about endocarditis, pericarditis, myocarditis. Think about Hockham, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And think about things that we may do to the heart, like angioplasty or cardioversion or CPR even. These can all cause a rise in troponin levels in the blood. Moving on to the pulmonary system, so the, the lungs. Think about pulmonary embolus or PE. Think about ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. This can also cause rises in troponin. Think about the central nervous system, strokes, subarachnoid hemorrhages. Again, both of these can push up your troponin levels. Renal failure can push up your troponin level. Things like burns or even strenuous exercise, things like sepsis, they can always cause a rise in troponin apart from an MI and acute coronary syndrome, which should come to your mind, of course, first and foremost. I hope this helps much more like this on our online courses, day courses, and audiobook courses. Hashtag Can Baswell Bass, hashtag I went with Aurora. Bye from Antalya.